it fits your MacBook Pro 13 inch. I can't believe that. Hi guys, today I thought I'd introduce you to my work bag and show you what's inside it. It's got the similar problem with the Le Pliage bag. It's got the fraying on the edge because the corners are so sharp. This bag is actually so surprising and you'll see in a bit just why. I'm annoyed now because I can't go back in time to use it for that purpose. Now I haven't opened up this backpack and so I've only just popped in my card holder and my airpods which you would normally find in the bag but I thought I'd introduce you to this little guy. I bought this on the way to Singapore last year in Dubai airport so I paid in Durham so I can't really remember how much it cost but I think it's along the lines of like 55 pounds or 70 I'm not really sure. Nonetheless, it's a really, really good backpack. I've used it non-stop. It goes to work with me all the time and it's kept like its shape. It hasn't like ruined or anything. It's just got a little mark there because I haven't cleaned it. I picked the red because it was like the nicest one there that they had available in the airport. It went really well with my outfits in Singapore in the end. I just wanted something a little bit smaller and a bit more convenient to carry because I also like to carry it on the top handle as well, not just use like the strap. I prefer to wear this double strapped on me. I don't know, because it's small, it's just a bit cute. Should we just dive in and see what's in here? I'm going to be referring back to the actual Le Pliage tote loads. Like again with the other bag, it has the smaller compartment at the front and then like the main compartment at the back. So I'll start off with the smaller compartment. In that, you have my card holder. Again, it's the same one, Dolce & Gabbana. I had the Whistles like card holder from the first year of uni till my um 21st birthday to be honest so i really appreciate that one of my friends like thought to get me this i don't always bring money with me like sometimes i forget and you know when you like switching bags and like from my uni bag into my normal bag and from my everyday bag when you're switching sometimes i just forget to bring money in general and that really does stop me at work in buying stuff i work in retail by the way so this is a perfect bag for me to fit into my locker um, I've got my AirPods. I used to stand at the bus stop and spend my entire time untangling the lead. Honestly, that took forever. And on the way to college as well. If you didn't have music in your ears for a journey. Oh, well, okay. I've got a few lip products in here. MAC Honey Love Lipstick. I love this lipstick a lot, especially like for a nude lip. It's such a nice like pink toned nude. And then I've got three Kiko 3D Hydra glosses. I love these for the moon and back. I think they're such good glosses because they're pigmented and they last a long time. They don't feel sticky on the lips. They're quite moisturizing as well. So here I've got shade 04 and I've got shade... <laughs> oh, all of this is rubbed off. Well, it's something. It's just a paler pink. And then we've got shade 20 as well. I normally buy it when it's like three for two or whenever they've got an offer on, I'll stock up on them because as you would see, like I have a gloss in like every single bag uh, that I own. Got a little bit of change in my bag as well. Lovely, love that. So I've got the fabric Urban Outfitters bag. I think everyone under the sun has this bag now, um, but I think they're really good and I love how they've introduced them now because Obviously, it's basically like self-promotion in itself because it says Urban Outfitters everywhere. But the thing is, it's reusable and other people like me will use it as like a, another shopping bag. It's quite a thin bag as well, so you can easily fold it up. And because this is small anyway, I need a, like a small cotton bag to put like my groceries in if I do end up shopping after my shift or something. I'm going to get told off for this. But, right, these gloves are too big for me. But when you're like flowing out stock, you need a pair of gloves. <laughs> right. So the yellow ones fit me better. These ones, I got them just in case, but they're too big for me. But I have like my own pairs of gloves that I wash. I take home and I wash and I take care of them. So we need them at work for like flowing and like dealing with glass shelves and equipment. and Great. And I have some sombrero tags. Now, these at work, we use to like stick them on 
um, product. We're able to hang them up on the shelf. Um, anything exciting, please. I've got an Alice band. This helps to keep my hair out my face. Okay, so I've got another Alice band, but this time it's actually for my headset. So everyone gets given one of these. And you get your own earpiece. And then when you're at work, you take the actual like receptor thing, attach it, and then it looks like you're singing, you've got a microphone and you talk into it. Yeah, so we have a suspect over here, da 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 da. <laughs> or I'll hear this sometimes. Can Caroline to come to the tills, please? Okay, so I've got my work badge as well. I won't show you that. I've got some smints again. You don't want smelly breath for your shift, do you? So it's good to have some smints in your bag, especially if you've had like a smelly lunch. If you had a smelly lunch, I recommend you purchase some mints or something straight away because you don't want to be scaring them customers. Or um, sombrero tags, great. Umbrella. I've got an umbrella in every single bag as well because again, the weather's unpredictable. Can I stop finding some stupid stuff in my bag? Honestly, I, but my bag is normally worse than this. My bag is normally full of receipts and stuff. And, and I always get told off for it. Anyway, so I've got two giant elastic bands. Right, okay, so this is my little like bag full of beauty just in case stuff. I used to bring like a bag like this, like a Kath Kidston one to college all the time because I used to walk to college and that would be a 50 minute journey. And so like, I'd always end up with blisters and stuff. So I would bring like plasters. In here we have like a little kit full of like tissues, paracetamol, panty liners, um, plasters, tampons, perfume. I'll go in and show you what perfumes are in here though. So this one is like a more of a recent discovery. It kind of smells like sexy men. It's from the Zara men section. It's the Night Pour Home um, Sport. This is the Eau de Parfum. Yeah, it smells like sexy men. I love layering my fragrances. I like using men's fragrances. I like using women's fragrances. I just like to layer them up and create my own scent. And then another all time favorite is this one this is my base layer fragrance so i always have this in my collection and it's the zara femme gosh i haven't worn perfume in so long so it just sounds really good I, I can't describe it to you it's a creamy floral anything that smells creamy and vanilla-y that's right up my street for like layering or i like smelling like coconuts also i've got two pairs of tweezers in here because if you're like me and sometimes you wear false eyelashes in, instead of having eyelash extensions, you're gonna have to fix up your eyes sometimes. I took out the glue from here like a while back uh, and I had to put it in my makeup collection instead. What's this? Mm. A leaflet thing. I've got two pens in here just in case at work they ask you to fill out something and you've got a pen nearby you. Got some more elastic bands. I'll give them to my mum. What's this? I've got my portable charger. I haven't seen this in ages. I didn't know where you went. Then I've got a, a charging lead for my phone. That is everything I carry in this little bag. Honestly, it carries so much. It's like a TARDIS in there. It's like Hermione's little pouch. You can literally fit anything in here. I've been known to like stuff, like loads of stuff to like fall to the brim. And my mum would tell me off. Oh my gosh, the amount of time she's like, you're gonna be ripping the bag. And I'd be like, no, it's fine. This bag can take a lot. So yeah, it just zips up at the top like that, like so. And I've used this in a rain a lot of times. The weather in the UK in the first few months was horrible. It was horrendous. You couldn't even use an umbrella. I just stuck it out. I just, I took my North Face beanie with me every single day. I'd stick that on my head, hope for the best, keep everywhere else dry with like a waterproof coat. And I had this on my back, as you would. I had it on my back. The contents inside the bag would be dry completely. And again, inside, has that coating as well i know it would be like everyone's taste but for work it's ideal for me because it fits into my locker fine i'd definitely say this is a classic uh little backpack to have in your collection if you're looking for a new backpack and if it's like if it fits into your style um it kind of gives you that preppy look 
I wouldn't recommend it for uni though, unless you don't need a MacBook or if you don't have a laptop or anything like that, you just take notes. I guess you could fit books in here, um, but just not like the massive ones. Like, I wouldn't be able to fit my laptop in here. Like, just for size reference. Hang on, let me just stuff it in and see if it works. Let me just see if this would work for someone at school. Wait. Whoa, no, don't even with me. Don't, I've never even tried it for uni. Wait, no, come on, man. Are you kidding me? You must be kidding me. No. Right. It fits your MacBook Pro 13 inch. I could have used it for uni, but I didn't. And now I'll never have that chance again. So I'll chuck my MacBook in here. As you can see, I've just put my MacBook in the sleeve. Because honestly, this is a game changer. Then you won't be able to fit much else, would you? <sighs> right, okay, so. MacBook going in with the sleeve, right? And then I'll chuck in my umbrella because that's an essential that I carry in my uni bag. And then a pen and my little beauty bag. Right, let's see if it shuts now. You know what i am actually amazed i am amazed at what this backpack can do i can believe i can't believe it guys i cannot believe it you i could have used it for uni this whole time okay so the bottom is a little bit misshapen like you've taken the 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 material from the bottom and you've taken it to make it a bit longer because obviously you've stretched out the top as well i can just close the lid like that and it's all secure Wow, I can't believe that. I'm genuinely so impressed. I've never done that before. That's mind-blowing. That is actually mind-blowing. I can't believe it. I would definitely recommend to bring this back to uni now because with the Longchamp Le Pliage range, I find that it's so smart looking and it's very tidy. Such a simple classic design that will never get old. I would use this for school college or uni i hope that helps you in deciding whether or not you should buy this bag but honestly i think it fits so much and it does a lot for how small it is i hope i helped you today and i'll see you guys in the next one if you've got any questions about the bag please drop them below in the comment section and i'll be sure to get back to you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video